Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a really interesting camper for you. This is the 2024 Sportsman 364 BH. And the reason why this is such an intriguing floor plan or such an intriguing camper is it's kind of in that tweener space between travel trailer and destin our destination RV. It has the sliding glass doors that are more commonly associated with the destination RV, but it has the front end and the pullability, you know, the aerodynamics of a travel trailer. So it is definitely unique in that fashion. I have done probably a thousand of these tours and I have not seen something quite like this. It has the bedroom in the back. Obviously you have a bathroom, but you're also going to get a bunk room. So if you guys could drop comments, let me know what you think about this type of camper. All of the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description along with a link for the price. But, you know, more than anything, I hope you guys, you know, find some value in this. And I hope you're having a good day. So, again, it's the 2024 Sportsman 364 BH. We're going to start on the inside, then work our way around the outside. Probably spend about, you know, 15 minutes or so on this camper. I think that'll give you kind of a good rundown. But you got bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bunk room behind these doors. Bedroom back there. But... I really enjoy this front area. You know, height-wise, interior height, you're looking at probably about 6'8 for ceiling clearance. I would say probably about 5'10 for the slide. And over on this side, you have, you know, your seating side. So you get a lot of great windows. I do like how they're a little bit bigger than normal, but you're also gonna get table for four, and then you're gonna get heated and massage recliners that are gonna be directly across from kind of your cooking and entertainment slides, you know, oven, microwave, refrigerator, TV, fireplace, sound bar. But then you also get a pull-out sofa here on the end. And that is something that's a little bit different. You know, this is not, I don't know how to say it. The camper's not so different that it's like a wow factor, but it is different enough to where it is very intriguing. I can see this having a pretty large market for it, myself included. You know, we got four kids at home, and I think that this would accommodate not only the sleeping, you know, for all of us, but it also has, you know, some of that rainy day space, you know, where are you going to put everybody's space to watch a movie if you're just stuck inside the camper. So really, really cool. And I am a big fan of the kitchen setup. Now I know from previous videos that I have shot, you know, a lot of people want it a little bit more open, a little bit bigger, but I'll tell you, if there's just one person back here, whether you're doing, you know, dishes or if you're cooking, by the way, stainless steel undermounted bowl, with the high rise faucet, but you got all the space that you possibly need, you know, for, for one person. It's a classic saying, you know, one chef in the kitchen, or maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's not that classic. I'm not sure exactly where I was going with that, but you got your hard wrapped plastic right here, babe, if you're watching, I love you, but the sink is going to be directly across from the oven. So I like that, you know, just transferring, you know, dishes and whatnot, doing some cooking, you know, I'm the one that does, you know, most of the cooking in our family. And I think this is a really nice setup, you know, assuming there aren't going to be too many people trying to, you know, crawl up in your space. Three stovetop burners so you can whip up all the fixings and an oven, you know, big enough probably for, you know, a pizza or something like that. Would I like a larger oven? Sure. Do I need to have it? You know, absolutely not. You have, you know, pizza space, cookie space, all that good stuff. You also get another little window. So including in with the you know, the height, the interior height of this camper, you also have, you know, just kind of a little feel good window right there. You also get a blind so that way you can, you know, block out some of the sun. On top of the slide outs, you're gonna see you have accent lighting and just a little place right here uh, just to add in a little extra sunlight. So again, another kind of little, little feel good item is what, you know, I would kind of consider it. So plenty of countertop space, you know, do all your prep work, maybe put out some buns, some plates, you know, and all that. Then right over here, you got kind of the, the coffee corner, you know, put yourself a Keurig, a blender. If you're getting a little crazy down at the campground, you also have another one right here. You also have your control panel, which is in a little bit of a unique spot. So I kind of dig it. You know, usually they're over right here on this wall. This is out of the way. You don't have to worry about the kids messing around with it, but you can check all your tank levels, water pump, you know, awning, both of your, uh, or all your slide outs can be controlled right here. And then your awning lights, more storage, here up above, and I also like how they use kind of the, the dusty, you know, glass that kind of, you can see a little bit through, but not all the way through, kind of like a privacy glass for maybe like one of those showers, you know, in the movies, or there's some babe going through there, and you can just see that little outline. 
I imagine your dish is sitting all up in there trying to look all all schnazzy. You got some good uh, good storage and access to your plumbing and then you're also going to get three pull-out drawers uh, right here you know so for all your stuff. More storage and more storage. Now I'm not familiar with this brand of refrigerator but I assume it works just fine. It does look incredibly fancy when you open it up. I mean you know if you didn't have this kind of the this is about to get shipped out to a dealership and down at the KZ manufacturer, but you got that just to kind of help, you know, stuff from staying in. But I love those lighting in there. I think that is so neat. And you got the blue glow down at the bottom, but it is pretty darn large. I mean, it's a little bit smaller than the one inside your home, but for a camper, I mean, a week's worth of food, five days, long weekend, you know, absolutely no problem. Good place for snacks and all that kind of good stuff. And then you're over into the entertainment section. And again, just to kind of reiterate, you are directly across from your recliner. So I like the TV position. The only place in this camper that might have a hard time viewing the TV, you know, even the dinette's got a good view of the TV. The only place that might struggle a little bit would be on that corner. But you know, when my family, the kids like to lay down, kick their head out, you know, and you're, you're ready to rock. TV is also, let's make sure before I say it, Yep, TV is on a swivel. So if you just want to lay down and catch movie mode or pull it out a little further, you can do it. It's my favorite TV brand to say. Uh, that is for sure. The old Sansui. Furion soundbar, HDMI, USB, zones one and two. So that's inside and outside. So you can rock on both sides. And then you have your Furion fireplace, which in an RV this size, it'll absolutely smoke you out of this room on a pretty darn chilly day. So let me go ahead and show you uh, the sofa here real quick just so you can get an idea, you know, of sleeping space. So you still have the bunk room, keep that in mind. But out here, you know, I imagine we got a soon to be 16 year old, you know, maybe wanting his own space, you know, starting to kind of branch out a little bit from the younger ones. You know, maybe they can sleep out in the living room, have a special little movie night. Or if you got, you know, that Funkel down at the campground that had a couple too many, you got the ability to sleep them. And then all you're gonna do is drop down this back part and I mean, setting up the bed, you know, was just as easy as that. So I like the fact that it's not a, you know, anything goofy like a jackknife or, you know, something like that that some of the brands, you know, will sneak into there. So you got an actual couch, an actual bed, probably. Okay, so the old camera fell right off the counter. I guess I'm a ding dong and put it a little bit too close. But now I've got the couch set back up. Another thing that I really enjoy is the fact that you have countertops on both sides and along the back, which this setup allows for. So instead of pushing it all the way up on the top where it's rounded, they actually created extra countertop space, extra usable space with chargers for all your devices. There's also going to be some more overhead storage too, you know, which is always a plus. And again, you got windows on both sides that created a lot of breeze. So, I mean, there is a ton of windows into this floor plan and each window is going to have you know this blind it is not quite the dracula shade not quite the drop shade but it does save you some money and it does the job the right way still you know you're still blocking it out with maybe a little bit of peak of some light through so heat massage they also kick back and recline again all the windows and i do really appreciate the balances here i think that's kind of a cool little checker pattern that they got going on emergency exit pull push and plop you're also going to have a little section right here. So if you're not sitting down, snuggling up with honey buns, you got yourself two cup holders and a little, you know, pop-up power tower right there. So, you know, the two USBs, you know, get charged in, you know, your normal outlet. And then now we're back on over to the table. Not too much to talk about. It does have the center pole there, but it's also got a little extender uh, that comes out if you need a little bit of extra room. Maybe if you're playing cards or if, you know, more than, um, you know, if you're a little bit bigger or something like that, you got the extra room that you can make. Another outlet here, and then that's going to be your fuse box. So if something isn't working, let's say the slide out lights, you know, make sure to check that, make sure a fuse did not blow. But drop a comment, let me know what you think so far. I think it is a pretty cool camper, and I think one that'll do probably pretty well, or if it, you know, it's not, it probably, or if it hasn't been, it probably will be. I don't know if it's a new floor plan, you know, or not. Now this is going to be your bunk room. It has a slide, so you're going to notice you get plenty of walk around room. It is lacking a window uh, that you can see, I guess, when you first come in. And let me 
put up this bunk real quick. It's right there. Needs a little bit of oil, but other than that, works out pretty good. You got a window right here. I probably would like to see another little window, you know, somehow figure it out, whether it's into the sides or whatever. But so you have the bunk, 250 pound weight capacity. You also have a jackknife sofa right here. And then you got a couple cup holders that'll pull down, but you have more than enough outlets uh, in this room for your kids. You also have an area where you can put up, you know, a TV. You also got the, the little hidden uh, USBs and all that. So, you know, charge controllers and cell phones. And then you get just enough storage to where, you know, if you can stack it right and you got kids that aren't gonna come through like a tornado, you know, to put everything. So I could see using this top portion, you know, as just extensions of the, you know, kind of like the dresser space, however you want to call it. Slide height in here is kind of, is more of the same as just in the front. So you can see, you know, if you got a kid or if you are much taller than myself, you still have the head space, you know, to kind of move around. And let me see here, I'm tightening up the bottom. That fall put a number on it. Another little window, this is going to be the second entrance. So you have your sliding glass door up front and then you have a secondary one, which I really like because it is right next to the bedroom, but is also right next to the bathroom. You have a, a corner radius shower, not my favorite, but if you are going to have it, at least it is one of the bigger ones to where, you know, I'm six foot, 300 pounds and I can fit in here just fine. Also got tons of head clearance, probably looking at about six, eight ish into there. So that's pretty cool. You also got the little octopus doodads. Hang a towel on me. And then you have kind of the dual layered countertop space. You know, you got places for, you know, your toothbrushes and whatnot, but then maybe some of the lesser used items, you know, like a cologne or maybe a hair dryer or something like that can be kind of, you know, tucked away. I don't know how many people are bringing cologne on a camping trip, but there's the old bowling gun, baby. Season starting back up. I'm pretty pumped about that. We got about three weeks and then we're back with the boys. The Fagati. I'm not familiar with that, but we're going to check that on the exterior portion and see what she's all about. And then here we are into the bedroom. It is not absolutely massive, but this slide allows you to have big windows and actually quite a bit of walk around room on the front end. And then if you are a pretty flat bellied person, uh, you know, or you got some little stick legs, you know, you can get around on either side. So it's just kind of a little bit of extra space. It does look like it's a camper king. Uh, so that is pretty darn nice. Some more overhead storage, windows on both sides, your thermostat right here. And then again, the emergency exit, pull, push and plop, get yourself out in a hurry. TV backer location, along with the appropriate plugins is all gonna be right there. Three pull out drawers. The bottom two are gonna be about twice the size of what you just saw there. And then right here, you got room for, you know, some hanging items. But now let's go around the outside, show you what she's all about. Again, it's the 2024 Sportsman 364 BH. Definitely, definitely different. That is for sure. And different is good in the RV industry. You know, I think try something new, see how it works and get things going. They're also going to have a two year, um, you know, basically tongue to bumper, you know, outside of your wearable items. Uh, the warranty so the warranty on kz products are going to be a little bit stronger as well now if you missed it the first time around all your specifications length height tank sizes awning sizes will be down in the description along with a link for that pricing you have framed windows a nice size awning where the slide stops so i like that because if you're out here you know playing some games the awning space is not going to be kind of cut into by the slide dual axle you got tinted windows and then this is gonna be your zone two. So right here, you have your two marine grade speakers. You also have outlets if you do wanna put in, you know, TV as well as the cable hookups. Manual stabilizing jacks, which is pretty darn common. They're actually gonna be a little bit stronger than the power tongue jack or power stabilizer jacks, I'm sorry. But put yourself a little 5 eighths, you know, 5 sixteenths drill bit there, zip them on down. You also have a ladder that hooks over the top to get on top of your roof. You know, check your seals, check your slides, as well as a spare tire that comes with the unit. You're also gonna get prepped for a backup camera. If you wanna put on slide toppers, which is a piece of awning that goes from here to here, you are more than able to do so. That's gonna prevent debris from landing on top of your slide when you pull it in, you know, kind of crunching into that seal. Think of like a, uh, 
like a tree branch or something of that nature. So this is locked up, but you got some storage there. Here's going to be your sewer outlet connection. So let's check out this. Okay. So it looks like you got the tankless hot water heater. So that's pretty darn cool. It's going to be basically instant heat ran by your propane. You also have your shower, outside shower, your black tank flush valve, which is a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. There's going to be your other valve. And then right up here, this is going to be, you know, your cable hookup, satellite hookups, and then your city water connection and your fresh water. Up on the top, you're going to have a battery disconnect, two oversized propane bottles, and then you have your power tongue jack. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to see you next time. Again, my name is Hunter. And this is the 2024 Sportsman 364BH. Have a great day. See you.